Oh no. The queen. The queen has fallen. <laughs> Y'all know I got a scoff. Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and honor unto Yahweh, Bashim, Yahushai, Bashim, Arachakorash. Double honors to the elder apostles of the great millstone who rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations unto the hopefully elect tabernacle of David scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. I'm sure y'all all seen the news. You know, the elder apostles then uh you know dead lives, you know, breaking the news. And uh I mean my few words, you know, in response to it is, hey, <laughs> see you in captivity. All right. Uh you know, you didn't live a long life. You know, Jake don't never get to live that damn long. Um, and I feel like she probably would have lived longer if they would have restocked on that uh, supply of uh, adrenal <laughs> adrenal chrome, that chrome. If they would have restocked on that chrome in time, she probably would have lived longer. But uh, I guess uh, you know they drunk up all the stash or whatever. But uh, hey, man, you know she lived her life in in in, in pseudo fake royalty. All right, because really these are just uh. You know, base individuals are these these people that you see sitting on that so-called royal throne. All right, they're 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 actually base. They're lower than the low. All right, they were the whole time that they were uh, exalted, they were really low, and that's pursuant to uh, Daniel. All right, how the Lord can actually um, you know, set up over a kingdom the bases of men. Let's get that in uh, Daniel four. It is uh, Daniel 4 verse 17 It says this matter is by the decree of the watchers And a demand by the word of the holy ones To the intent that the living may know That the most high ruleth in the kingdom of men And giveth it to whomsoever he will And uh, it's been given into the hand of the wicked That's why they've been on top That's why they are in all these higher up positions In, in this uh, current world Alright the, the, the globalists, the super rich elite All Edomites all right, those who sat on the throne, the, the, the queen, uh, uh, the king, the princes, they all are Edomites, all the royal families, all Esau. All right, so the Lord gave it over to them. All right, it says, and set up over it, it's like you, and giveth it to whomsoever he will, and set up over it the bases of men. And we know these uh, Edomites, they're the bases of men, lower than the low. But, you know, the, because the Lord put them in position, of uh, power and, and, and authority and, and uh, you know, sitting on all type of wealth. They, they've they always had that higher than mighty uh, attitude. Uh, you couldn't even get within arm's reach of, of the so-called queen. Uh, I remember uh, years ago when um, uh, Michelle Obama, in which I'm still trying to debate if that's either Michael or if that's really a Michelle, but... Um, they, it was a big uh, uh, uproar in the media because, you know, she uh, touched the queen, so-called queen. It was controversy surrounding that. So they probably, you know, took her somewhere and sat her down and, you know, they probably got on her case. All right. But, uh, you know, that's, you know, what they deem as a uh, royalty. That's that's the queen. You know, you're supposed to approach her with, you know, your highness and. All this other, you know, bullshit. But uh, you know, like Paul Mooney said, man, fuck, fuck that. I'll, he said, I'll snatch her purse, man. You know. But uh, they're they're base, man. And they're gonna really live after that manner of of being base and low in the kingdom. That, that's when they're gonna be in their correct estate. All right, because uh, since they've been in power, you know, they've uh, looked down upon us. Like it says in Job, the 30th chapter, which that's part of the curse, you know, that we was going to um, be brought down low and that the, the, the stranger was going to get up over us very high. All right. This is uh, Job 30 and verse. Uh, I'm going to just get straight to the point because, you know, I can read this, uh, you know, the, the, the first half of the chapter. But, you know, for the second time, I'm going to just get straight to the point. But it's going into with a history of when they were in exile in those caves. All right. And when they were in the cave, they were in their right estate. They were base. 
They didn't even know how to, uh, uh, you know, speak. They braid. They had to be civilized. They had poor hygiene. And it was the Moors that actually uh, civilized them and sanitized them. We had to clean them up when they um, was, was, was among us. All right. And that's in their history. And these, all of a sudden, these devils get put into power. Now they're the they're now they're the uh, popes. Now they're the uh, the kings and the queens and the princesses and the princes, and so on and so forth. All right. So this is uh, Job thirty and verse uh, eight, and it says, "They were children of fools, yet yeah, children of base men. They were viler than the earth. And now I am their song, yet yeah, I am their byword." They abhor me, they flee far from me, and spare not the fit in my face. It's like a spit in my face. You know? So, you know, they 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 all uh, look at Jake, you know, with a sense of uh, superiority. You know, because the Lord, he's the one that put us down. Or like it says in Ecclesiastes, uh, the 10th chapter, I have seen um, servants on horses, and I've seen uh, uh, princes... Walking on the earth as uh, servants Matter of fact let me get it Because I hope I didn't word it wrong But we're the real royalty Not not them devils man Ecclesiastes 10 Yeah verse uh, 7 it says I have seen servants upon horses You know which are uh, Edomites you know they're, they're uh, lofty On their high up uh, position Are uh, they on their pedestal Because they they run the world all right, all your all your taxes that you've been paying been going overseas to Israel and over there to uh, the, the king and queen of uh, England. All right, and princes walking as servants upon the earth, and we're you know we're the uh, princes of the power, Yasha Allah. All right, he is a prince of of the power of the princes of the Most High, but right now we we're servants. We, we serve our enemies. All right, we're we're getting taxed. We gotta work. We're subject to payments, all right? We're yet this day in our captivity, so we got to serve these devils right now. But the Lord's getting ready to, to flip the script. He's going to turn back our captivity, and we're going to be placed in, 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 in that position, all right, where the Lord's going to give us uh, power over the nations, and we're going to rule them with a rod of iron. We're going to be sitting upon thrones. Our women are going to be princesses. They're going to be royal, all right? We ain't going to be drinking blood in our kingdom We ain't going to have to drink blood Alright, to, to, to stay youthful Alright, which, which means You got to wait on A bunch of uh, babies getting sacrificed And put to death Alright, this is the reason why they had to You know, uh, push forth that, that um, Planned Parenthood agenda To get rid of a lot of uh, babies So you already know What they do with it Alright they had to keep that chrome coming so that they can, you know, stay alive longer and longer. All right. You know, in the kingdom, we're going to live forever, everlasting life. Our days are going to be unnumerable. Uh, we're going to have true immortality. All right. As far as we know. All right. If, if, if you're not a part of the nation of Israel, you're not going to be under that new covenant. Then guess what? You're going to still remain mortal. You're going to die. Okay, but we're gonna be uh, immortal. All right, so uh, the queen, she's not uh, immortal. All right, that's why she went up to the spiritual realm, and uh, you know we could read a uh, second. It's like let me get uh, Ecclesiastes, because we know where she uh, where she went. She went back before the father. She ain't in hell, a place where you burn forever, like these uh, Christians uh, teach. All right, that's all the uh, uh, Cartoon Network. That's Walt Disney. All right. Once she gave up the ghost, Ecclesiastes 12 and 7, then shall the dust return to the earth as it was, and the spirit shall return unto the Most High who gave it. So she, her, her spirit is returned back to the Heavenly Father. All right. And there she's uh, she chilling for a little bit. All right, let's get, uh, was that Job 3? And she's just uh, waiting uh, her time back on the earth. All right, where, you know, she's going to play out her judgment, which is she's going to come back and she's going to be a, continue to be the Edomite and she's going to be up under the curse. 
All right, we're going to get that uh, after I, I read this. Uh, Job 3. And uh, I'll start at 11. It says, why died I? This is Job speaking. You know, he's speaking out of anguish, of course. Why did I not from the womb? Why did I not give up the ghost when I came out of the belly? Why did the knees prevent me? Or why the breasts that I should suck? For now, should I have lain still and been quiet, I should have been, I should have slept. Then had I been at rest with kings and counselors of the earth, which built desolate places for themselves, or with princes, all right, that had gold who filled their houses with silver. All right, you had that devil, uh, Prince Philip, that died last year, or the, which was the husband, I believe. All right, and I remember uh, on the cover of uh, the Daily News, they had him on the left side and it said uh you know the the um the royal prince uh going at age 99 all right and it has him as the prince and then to the to um to the right you had dmx and it just said the rapper all right a uh, uh, brilliant but troubled musician dies at the age of 50 so you saw the difference in how they described it too like the the, the prince you know he was so beloved and so you know, he was such a saint. He was such a, you know, but they down, you know, but you saw how they describe uh, DMX, you know. That devil, he was nothing but a, a, another racist uh, eugenicist. He said that he wished that he he could come back as a, um, I think it was him that said he wished that he could come back as a as a plague or something like that and, and, and kill off the population because they, they all, they, they all about blood. They all about blood being spilt. They all about uh, bloodshed, man. All right, it says that they will not even be satisfied with blood. All right, they was all about uh, missing children, sex traffic, all that stuff, man. Sac uh, child sacrifices, and they and and they were uh, involved in uh, some of these cases, but was let off the hook due to their you know their their status. They was involved with the whole Jeff, uh, Jeff Epstein, uh, Epstein Island thing. So the, the, the hell with them. That's why in the kingdom, they ain't going to escape nothing. They're going to come back and we're going to put it on them. All right. But let me uh, finish this because I want to get to the point. You know, cause basically to show that in the, in the spiritual realm, everybody's there and everybody's uh, resting. All right. It says, or as uh, unhidden. Untimely birth, I had not been as infants which never saw light, like a stillborn baby. There the wicked cease from troubling, and there the weary be at rest. There the prisoners rest together, they hear, they hear not the voice of the oppressor. The small and great are there, and the servant is free from his master. You know, so when we, when, when a Jake, when Jake dies, he's released, man. So it's really, when, when, when someone dies, you really should be uh, happy for him instead of uh, sad. Because, you know, they're free, especially if you're a Jake. Because when we come here on the earth, as Israelites, curse shall you be in the city, curse shall you be in the field. You got curses that you got to deal with. So once you die, you actually are uh, temporarily released from the curse. And you get the rest from it all, man. You know? But guess what? When the Lord flips everything, they're going to they're gonna be the ones that's going to be born into a curse. We're going to be born into uh, blessings. So let's get a uh, real quick uh, Deuteronomy. Matter of fact, before I even get that. Let me go to the, uh, the Apocrypha. And let's get Sirach, the 41st chapter. And the same thing applied to uh, Prince Philip. Same thing applied, uh, applied to um. David Rockefeller when he passed This is what's going to happen with them Once they die This is uh, Sirach 41 And I'm going to start at verse uh, 5 It says the children of sinners are abominable children And they that are conversant In the dwelling of the ungodly And Esau he's, he's the ungodly It says the inheritors The inheritance of sinners children shall perish And their posterity shall have a perpetual reproach the children will complain of an ungodly father because they shall be reproached for his sake. You know, all the wickedness that their forefathers done and they benefited from it. 
That's why they're going to be, that's why they're reproached for it. All right? And, they, and the Lord's going to hold them accountable. All right? Like it says in Isaiah 14 and 21, prepare a slaughter for his children. All right? For, um, prepare a slaughter for his children for the iniquity of, uh, of their fathers. Okay? They're going to pay. They're not going to, just because they die, that doesn't mean that they're not going to come back. You, you're reincarnated. All right? It says, uh, woe be unto you, ungodly men. All right, and, and in their case, they, these are the ungodly that prosper in the world. When you read uh, Psalms, the 73rd chapter, you know, David was talking about how he was envious of the foolish, the prosperity of, uh, of the wicked. Yeah, man, they have all that a heart could wish, you know. They're, they were not in trouble as other men, neither are they plagued. All right, they, they, that's how they had it. All right, but really... The Rothschilds was, was is, like when you think about Psalms the seventy third chapter, you really think about the Rothschilds and the Rockefellers, the ones at the at the major top, you know. Because even though the Queen and them they was in position, but they were low level. They ain't they ain't on the level of the Rothschilds. The Rothschilds can come right, can can touch them, can can smack them and smack them upside the head. They could do all that. They're over the uh, uh, the, the Queen and the, and the King. Okay. But for all of them in general, all right, it says, uh, which have forsaken the law of the most high God, for if you increase, it shall be to your destruction. And if you be, and, and like all the, uh, the riches that they uh, hoarded up for themselves, hey, like read James the fifth chapter. How are you, you rich men? They're going to they gonna vomit it all up. It's all for their own destruction. All right. It says, and if you be born, you shall be born to a curse. And if you die, a curse shall be your portion. All right. So you're, you're going to be born to a curse. All right. And let's get a uh, Deuteronomy 30 and uh, 7. So they're going to the, the curses that's, that, that, that was on us. It's going it's going to be on them in our kingdom. All right. Deuteronomy 30 and 7 says, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. All right. And it's going to go on, on Esau and it's going to go on these other nations. All right. And they're going to be like unto us. All right. They're going to be the tail. We're going to be the heads. Okay. They're going to have the sorrow of mine. Let's get a uh, lamentation um, three. And uh, 64, and it says, Render unto them a recompense, O Yahweh, according to the work of their hands. Give them sorrow of heart, thy curse unto them. Persecute and destroy them in anger from under the heavens of the earth. All right? So the Lord's going to give them a sorrow of heart because in the kingdom, they, their mind ain't going to be able to rest because that's how much they're going to be getting their head kicked in. All right? Cause we're gonna rule them with a a a, 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 a rod of iron, man. We're gonna be stern, stern and, and hard on them like they was hard on us. Okay. Let me get out uh, the uh, the first chapter. The scriptures say that you know we're gonna we're gonna uh, render unto them double. You see. Uh, Lamentations 1 and uh, 21 and 22 it says they have heard that I sighed there was none to comfort me all my enemies have heard of my trouble they are glad that thou has done it thou wilt bring the day that thou has called and they shall be like unto me alright they're going to suffer the curse just like we had to let all the wickedness come before thee and do unto them as thou has done unto me for all my transgressions For my sighs are many And my heart is faint Alright Meaning the Lord poured upon us The curses Because we all transgressed Okay You know Just you know Being at the bottom Or not being reckoned Among the uh, the nations Okay Having the sorrow of mind Not having uh, Full assurance of our life You know Hoping to get day to day you know, looking over our shoulder, worrying about the enemy, oppression being extorted, being uh, um, 
defrauded. All right. Which we ain't going to defraud nobody in our kingdom. Everything is going to be balanced and righteous. But we definitely going to put put hell on them, man. All right. The Lord said I will. Um, he said he will bring uh, vengeance upon Edom by the hand of his people Israel. And they're going to they're going to uh, perform the vengeance according to his anger and his fury. So we don't know how the Lord, how, how, man, <laughs> all I can say is, uh, you know, just these devils going to have to just uh, hey, live, live, live it out, max out. All right. And if you and, and if you go back to the spiritual realm, hey, you, you, you just uh, waiting, you just, uh, you know, waiting on it. All right. Let me get uh, the parable of uh, Lazarus and a rich man. Because that's also uh, symbolic. You know, because the way we had it, you know, we were the poor. We were considered the beggars of society. We got to go to our enemies for the one of all things. But we still have to end up paying tribute to these devils, man. We've been paying tribute to, to, to that, that blood drinking lizard. All right. For all this time. And we said it uh, uh, when they had that that whole little jub uh, jubilee ceremony. We already said, man, that, she ain't got a lot of time left. We already knew she was getting ready to go. They was flying them planes over her. They they did that little ritual with the tree. You know what I'm saying? And them chariots flew flew by, and we already knew that was a straight up uh that, that was a, a a omen. All right, they probably marked her. So now she's now she's gone. So now this is what's gonna happen when she uh you know uh, lifts up her eyes, in 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 our kingdom. This is uh Luke 16. And I'm going to just read down uh, Luke 16 and 19. It says there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuous, sumptuously every day. All right. You dressed in a royal apparel. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus who was uh, laid at his gate full of sores. All right. And, and you read uh, in uh, Isaiah, the fourth chapter, uh, the first chapter. It talks about how the whole head is sick, you know, uh, and, 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 you know, we're faint. You know, there's a bunch of uh, uh, putrefying sores and, and wounds and bruises. That's Israel, man. Been through captivity after captivity, man. And really, you know, we suffered it because, you know, of course, we got to hold ourselves accountable. We sinned. We went off. All right. So the Lord put us in these uh, conditions. All right, so you see this this nation of people full of sores, all right, full of bruises, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs that fell from the uh, rich man's table. In other words, we got to go to our enemies for the one of all things. All right, he shall be the head and we shall be the tail. He shall lend to thee, but thou shalt not uh, lend to him, right? Moreover, the dogs came and licked their swords. Swords, meaning the, these other nations, you know, they, they, uh, they helped forward the affliction, man. They all looked down upon us. They all kept us from being a nation. Let the name of Israel be no more in remembrance. All right, they all uh, uh, at some point put us into captivity, and we and, and they served themselves of us. So they look, they they helped lick the sores, man. It says, and it came to pass that the beggar died, and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell, he lifted up his eyes, being in torments. Why? This is this is symbolic, man. This is a parable. They'll take this. The Christians take this literal to describe hell. And you even got Israelites that that buy into that that false doctrine. No, this is all uh, metaphoric, man. It's, it's a parable. It's, he's trying to convey a message. But this isn't literal. All right. It says in hell he lifted up his eyes. If this is if he's in hell and it's supposed to be burning, what eyes is he seeing out of? Because everything is it, it's supposed to be hot there. His eye he shouldn't even have eyeballs. That should be melted. So obviously this is all parabolic, man. It says and in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments. All right, and see if Abraham afar off and Lazarus in his bosom, meaning he's he's in now. He's in uh, 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 straits. He's in misery because he's in a low position. He's in uh, hell. All right. And he sees Jake, the people that he uh, looked down upon and mistreated. 
all right, and and and, and did all type of uh, hateful acts against us, he gonna see us. We're we chilling. He gonna see that we we've we've traded places. All right, and he can't come over to you know where we are. Okay, it's gonna be a separation. It says. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. You know, which we know that if, if there was a little a literal place called hell where you're burning. There's no way that a drip of water is going to fall anywhere. So obviously what this is saying is, you know, have him, you know, ease my misery, my pain since he's in comfort right now. For I am tormented in his flame. Yeah, you getting your, your, your back whipped in. You out in that hot ass sun and your skin is, is peeling. But Abraham said, son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest good things. Go read Psalm 73. And likewise, Lazarus, evil things. But now he is comforted and thou art tormented. All right. So now we're under the uh, we're getting blessed or being comforted receiving our consolation which is the kingdom of heaven and now you're you're in straits now you're under the curse all right and besides all this between us and you there is a great gulf fixed so that they would pass from thence to you cannot neither can they pass to us that would come from thence all right and 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 that's what it's going to be all right we're going to be on we're going to be the head and you're going to remain the tail and it's never going to change. All right. And I'm pretty sure, you know, because we're going to be uh, royal and holy and pure. We ain't going to even want to, you know, be within arm's reach of you. You're going to be way out there in them, in them fields. All right. It's going to be certain. We're going to give you all boundaries that you can't pass. Just like uh, uh people like us we would we we be considered uh peasants to the, to the queen and and, and and the prince or whatever we can't even come within arm's reach well in our kingdom you won't be able to get that close to us either so yeah man so this is what she's going to experience when she comes back so right now she's just resting talking about queen elizabeth all right and 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 the prince too him too David Rockefeller, all them devils that's that's in the spiritual realm. So, yeah, man. And it, and 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 if you a Jake, you better not be a sign, man. All right. If you sigh about this shit, man, then uh, you might want to check your your uh, your, your lineage. <laughs> you might be a terror, man. Uh, the hell with her she lived her, her full life all right in, in wickedness and it seemed like you know they prolonged their life the ungodly like it says in uh, jeremiah jeremiah complained about the prosperity of the wicked and how they how their life uh, are prolonged was that uh jeremiah 12 Uh, let me see. Um, Jeremiah 12 and 1, it says, Righteous art thou, O Yahweh, when I plead with thee, yet let me talk with thee of thy judgments. Wherefore doeth the way of the wicked prosper? Wherefore are they, are all they happy that do it very uh, treacherously? Thou hast planted them, yeah, they have taken root, they grow, yeah, they bring forth fruit. They are near in their mouth. And far from their reins. But thou, O Yahweh, knowest me. Thou hast seen me and tried mine heart toward thee. Pull them out like sheep for the slaughter and prepare them for the day of slaughter. And that's what Esau is uh, reserved for. He's reserved for the day of uh, judgment to be uh, slaughtered. All right, it's going to be a great slaughter in Idumia. All right, but I think it was another uh, scripture that I was thinking about. Where it talks about how the wicked prolong their life. You know, um, it might it might actually be in Psalms the 73rd chapter. All right. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm going to try to cut it short. Uh, y'all can uh, find the scripture. Maybe one of y'all find it. You can put it in the uh, the, um, the comment section. 
But, uh, you know, I just want to have a few words on this you know, while I'm on my uh, lunch break. But, uh, yeah, man, we'll, we'll see her in, in captivity, man. So with that, we're going to give all praise, glory, and honor. I'm going to give all praise, glory, and honor to y'all. Bashim, y'all shy. To the next lesson, Shalom.